And now in business, the federal government has apologized for asking all account holders in the country's financial institutions to register their details again. The federal government earlier asked uh, all account holders in banks, including insurance companies, to fill and submit a self-confirmation form. The order was given uh, despite the possession of the bank verification number and the national identification number by account holders on Thursday. Failure to do so, the Nigerian government threatened uh, to block access to defaulters' accounts or impose a monetary penalty. The order to fill another self-confirmation form despite the existing BVN and NIN had attracted condemnation on social media. However, in a tweet on Friday, the government apologized for misinformation. It tweeted, We apologize for the misleading tweets, now deleted, that went up yesterday regarding the completion of self-certification forms by reportable persons. The message contained in the FIRS Nigeria notice does not apply to everybody. The FIRS will issue appropriate clarification shortly. Joining us live is Bulahon Olujede, an economist. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Kindly help uh, make this easier to understand. The government seems to have retracted statements uh, from yesterday. What exactly is this new directive all about? Well, it's, it's quite unfortunate. Um, we have uh, a law uh, that we have, or some treaties sort of, that we have signed to with other countries regarding taxation. And that requires that non-residents and people with multiple residences uh, provide certain information. But in putting that out, the federal government has presented this as if it is everybody. In fact, the language it's used was that all account holders should go to their bank and re-register. Why would somebody give that kind of an information? Because you and I are all account holders. So probably 70 million Nigerians are account holders. So are you saying the 70 million of us should go to and re-register? But that is not what the information is supposed to be. It is for non-residents and people who live in, in multiple jurisdictions. The, the, the statements or the tweets have eventually been deleted. Um, and of course, uh, the statements retracted. But there seems to be some sort of miscommunication here between the federal government and the FIRS. Does this mean anything? Well, it's, it's the same thing we've been seeing around. Uh, communication has been extremely poor in this administration. And, and I hope that we can uh, realize that. I hope that we can realize that and reset its priorities as far as communication is concerned. The way things are set today and tomorrow, they are retracted. Okay, don't give money, people money to import maize today. The following week, you say, okay, give four companies money to import maize. It's, it's, it's just a, 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 your space is confusing. Information engagement with the public and communication is horrible. My, my, my take is that there's a probability that the entire paraphernalia of government is beginning to assume the personality of the president. The president doesn't talk much. This is taciturn. So it seems as if that is how we intend to be carrying out everything that has to do with government. Don't, don't communicate with it. Just, just throw something out there. This is, this is, this is not right. I and mean, it's not going to go well for, for the administration. Yeah, the FIRS uh, statement also says, and of course you also spoke about this, it says the new directive is for reportable persons. Um, can you share reasons why the government may be trying to get um, better financial documentation on these persons? And what, does, what exactly do they mean by reportable persons? Thank you for asking that second question. It goes back to what I was saying about communication and engagement. You are engaging with members of the public and you are using a word called reportable persons without a definition of reportable persons. This is horrible communication. Horrible. Members of the public, for crying out loud. So we need to get straight our communication. However, the reason this is coming up, um, the, 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 the new rule is coming up, is because of those agreements that we have with other countries. We have many people that are non Nigeria that are living in Nigeria and earning income. We need to be sure that their taxes are captured. So um, we, it will apply to other countries too. Other countries will do it for Nigerians who are living in their country. 
And we also have the situation of people who live in two different countries at the same time. In that sense, it is to ensure that everybody pay taxes as appropriate and to the right government. Okay, and, and, and lastly, um, what do you think must be fixed with regards the method of communication um, between the government and Nigerians? Um, the social media network Twitter, you know, is where most of all the drama has happened in the last uh, 24 hours. Do you think that that is an effective means of communicating to Nigerians, um, uh, breaking news from the government, and how can they do better? We, we cannot run away from uh, uh, communicating using those platforms, actually. Um, the, the, there, there are a lot of people on the platforms, and they are useful for short communications, especially the Twitter. Um, but when it comes to important issues that bothers on policy, or we're talking of uh, uh, issues that require proper engagement with members of the public, those platforms are not the right platform. So we need to begin to get people who understand communication to help us with communication. What is coming out of government today, I'm, I'm sorry, even starting from the Federal Ministry of Information, is um, it's, it's not good enough. It, it totally lacks excellence, totally. So we, we need to go and rejig uh, our, our communication strategies and, and make it better. If, if there is a policy issue that is coming out, it should be well thought through, and it should go out through the mouthpiece of the government having a, the totality of the information that the public needs to know about those policies. The totality, not, not, not a, a member that says reportable persons. What is the meaning of reportable persons? And lastly, just before we, uh, we go, uh, Mr. Olujide, I, I want to get your quick views on the positives, you know, from this directive. Are there certain things that the government is hoping that they would achieve that we can also commend um, in this directive? Uh, it, it, it will help with uh, tax matters, actually. Um, we, we have a sizable um, number of Nigerians who are living outside the country. Uh, who might not have been totally fulfilling their tax obligations. Even the ones inside are not fulfilling, not to talk of the ones outside anyway. Uh, so it might, it might help with that. Then other countries which you have entered into agreements with on these tax matters, I also say, look, I have my national house living in your country. I'm not getting their taxes. So where are the taxes? Is it here in Nigeria? Are you guys collecting it? Or where is it supposed to be? So this documentation will help to ensure that everybody carry their own fair share of tax body, everybody concerned. And the two people concerned in this case are non-residents, in the case of Nigeria, and people with multiple residences uh, who live in, in more than one jurisdiction. Bulahan Lejide, thank you so much for speaking with us. Looking forward to another conversation with you. Pleasure.